Well, Mark Seagraves last started a home game on the 16th of December. Glad to be back in the side. Aiming to prove that he's worth a place. The manager Mel Machin's team. Meanwhile, it looks as if the first booking of the game is going to be against Paul Stewart for that foul. Who is it who went down then, Fred? Jerry McElhenney, the ba battle of two big men there. I tell you what, Jerry's one of the hardest players in the football league, but his spark out there, it looks as though Paul sought him a beauty, for which I think he's going to be booked. Did you see that incident? I didn't yeah, see it. Yeah, he came flying across. Funny enough, I was watching the two of them, and I was wondering why um, Adrian Burrows was picking up Stewart and why McElhenney was picking up Verardi. I would have thought it had been the other way around. But as the kick was taken... Um, Stewart came across and challenged McElhenney and by referee Ken Redfern's interpretation there he's just been moving his elbow about to indicate that uh, he's booking Paul Stewart for elbowing McElhenney in the face and it looks as though he's been floored by Mike Tyson the way he's laying down there well he's still down and well signs of movement now but he was as you say spark out Jerry McElhenney there, back on his feet. Towards David White. Comes out to Gidman. Crossed in towards Scott. Verardi. Forced to turn away then. McNabb, still the pressure on. Gidman chips it in again towards Verardi. And Plymouth struggling to clear the lines here. That's an excellent ball out to McNabb. And an early ball into the middle for White. Half saved by the keeper, but Scott scores. Well, the perfect start then for Manchester City. All started from Andy Hinchcliffe's good ball out to McNabb on the right. His forward ball into the path of David White. The snapshot was saved initially by Cherry, but Ian Scott followed in. A dream start, Fred. Yeah, they sprung the offside trap well there. McNabb used his experience, and it was a super ball. Uh, shot a goal from David White, and of course, Scotty was there just to knock in the rebound. Once again, it's Seagraves involved. Tynan. Matthews. No problems for Eric Nixon. White, Verardi, and this is a promising run from Ian Scott. Scott versus the keeper. The keeper got a hand to it, still Stewart. Well, Ian Scott scored a goal in similar fashion against Millwall earlier in the season. Well, this time he couldn't beat the keeper, Steve Cherry. Actually, I fancied Scotty there. He, he has the composure as a player to, uh, to take the thing round the keeper. And he did the right thing, but he showed the keeper too much of the ball. And the chance was lost. And, of course, Paul Stewart just slashed it wildly over the bar when I thought a neat little chip might have been the order of the day. Forced away. Scott. Uh, lost uh, possession. Actually, lost concentration just for a moment. But City have it back. Here's Simpson. Three men in the middle, one of them, Scott. Cooper and Matthews are involved. Matthews is number eight. And it's him who chips it in. And it was from White. And a snapshot from Clayton. And some of the Plymouth supporters on the far side thought that was in. And from Seagraves, marker up in the air. Some, some sarcastic applause from Ian Scott for the decision. Free kick quickly taken. And Gidman urged to get a cross in. McNabb. Simpson's got some space here. And he's hit the post. It was a good ball in by McNabb. Simpson was completely unmarked at the far side. From a defence momentarily napping. And Simpson hit the first time effort, which he caught with the outside of Gidman's header. Stewart, well chested off then to David White. Scott was on a run. Simpson gets past one tackle, gets a shot in, and Cherry 
Well, he saved well, but he had to quickly pounce on the loose ball. It has been particularly good. Well, here they are as they come forward again. Already four or five players involved in this move. McNabb, that's a very good ball in towards Simpson. This could tie the game up. Paul Simpson just about wraps the game up. McNabb with a run down the left. He waited his moment, threaded the ball between two Plymouth defenders. And then Simpson advanced into the penalty area. He'd already hit the post from a similar position, but he made no mistake this time. What a good goal, Fred. Yeah, he took it well. I'm glad he didn't let me down after me saying he'd be the match winner. So, um, once, he'd got, once he'd got into the box, he looked confident, and he picked his spot and uh, buried it in the bottom corner. Good goal. Well, I should think that's probably uh, just about wrapped it up now, but, of course, anything can happen in the FA Cup. Well, prophetic words, really, because John Matthews has put Plymouth back in, or rather it's Tynan, I'm told by Fred. Rather well, caught everybody out there, Manchester City and myself, straight from the kickoff. Plymouth get a goal back. <laughs> and now David White could wrap it up, Stewart with a chance, tries to chip the keeper. But straight into the hands of Steve Cherry. It's all happening at the moment. It's a game you can't really take your eyes off. And it's real end-to-end -end FA Cup tie, typical action. That's a good ball by McNabb out to Simpson again. Hinchcliffe's making a run. Varadi. Well, Stewart will keep the ball in play on the far side. Over comes the cross, Varadi. Well, a terrific effort from Imre Varadi. But typical of this game, the ball quickly released by the keeper and Plymouth themselves forward. Matthews looking for Tynan. Law. Has the ball forward towards the substitute. Cooper. Up goal, the Plymouth players and here's some danger. Well, the shot came in from Hodges. It went across the face of goal. I'm not sure whether Hodges was trying to shot then or whether it was a cross. But it only needed a little touch in then and Plymouth would have been right back on level terms. Alarming amount of space Hodges got there and really he should have done better under any circumstances, especially two or three minutes from the end of a fifth round FA Cup time. Tremendous excitement. Even the goalkeeper, I think, wants to get in the action on the halfway line out of shot. Over comes the corner. It's away by Molden and Simpson now with just the goalkeeper ahead of him. Paul Simpson could wrap the game up now for Manchester City. He's looking around him, Plymouth players are driving back. And Simpson's shot saved, but Molden finishing it off. Paul Molden has put Manchester City through to the quarter-finals of the FA Cup. Plymouth were pressing forward, obviously, for the equaliser. Paul Simpson picks up the ball deep in his own half, ran three quarters of the length of the field, probably should have scored himself, but the goalkeeper pushed it out, and Paul Molden finished the game off for City. I think Simo was absolutely shattered, he must have run hard there, and Paul Molden did what he was best at, followed things in, and that's his uh, sixth goal for the club. So I think that just about wraps it up now. Well, an incident resulting from uh, that goal. Possibly Andy Hinchcliffe was complaining about something, but he's talked himself into a yellow card. Well, that won't really matter now from Manchester City supporters' point of view. They've got the victory they wanted. But still Plymouth come forward. Stewart. Paul Molden's in the inside right position. Stewart pushing forward himself, fancies a goal, Paul Stewart, but he pushed it too far. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester City marched through to the quarter-finals of the FA Cup in style a pulsating FA Cup time, the fifth round. Ian Scott opened the scoring in the first half. Paul Simpson 
and then Tommy Tynan got a goal back for Plymouth but in the last seconds Paul Molden wrapped it all up and the final score here at Main Road in the fifth round of the FA Cup Manchester City 3, Plymouth Argyle 1